so far we have discussed bond formation by carbon atom we will see today the models of those compounds first one is sp3 hybridized carbon which looks like this or you can say like this all these angles are 109 degrees and 28 minutes from all sides so this carbon atom i have put hydrogen atoms here sp3 s overlap forming four ch bonds so methane looks like this sp2 hybridized carbon which is ethylene both are sp2 because they are joined to three atoms so this sp2 hybridized carbon looks like this there are three sp2 orbitals at 120 degree to each other in one plane this is a p orbital standing here all having one electron each so when this carbon atom comes in close proximity with another such carbon atom an overlap takes place forming a cc bond these four ch bonds are formed by sp2 s overlaps they are all in the same plane p orbitals having one electron each stand perpendicularly and they overlap sideways forming this type of thing this is a pi orbital encompassing the sigma bond these pi electrons are more reactive than sigma bond sigma electrons because of the greater freedom of movement so this is ethylene when we come to a triple bond both are sp hybridized both have two sp orbitals you can see like this these are two sp orbitals one p here in the plane of these orbitals and one stands perpendicularly so this is sp hybridized carbon this can overlap with another such carbon atom which is sp2 have sp hybridized this overlaps with s orbital of hydrogen atom forming sigma ch bond so this is acetylene molecule now one ch bond one ch bond this is cc bond these two parallel p orbitals overlap sideways to form one pi molecular orbital and these two p orbitals we have shown here overlap sideways to form another pi molecular orbital so in total there are one sigma and two pi they constitute a triple bond so this is very well understood by this model now if you want to form ethane molecule ch3 ch3 this c attaches to four atoms 3h and 1c this c with these 3h and 1c both are sp3 hybridized they form this type of molecule 3 c c h bonds over here 3 c h bonds here this is a c c bond ethane molecule if you want to see propane molecule then this sp3 overlaps with sp3 of third carbon atom which is also sp3 hybridized and the molecule of propane looks like this you can see they are not in the same plane 
Similarly, you can form a larger molecule by attaching in this fashion. Let us see the case of benzene. This C6H6 is a cyclic compound. All C atoms are sp2 hybridized. Each carbon overlaps sp2 orbital of each carbon overlaps with s orbital of hydrogen atom forming sigma six sigma ch bonds they are in the same plane just like this these are ch bonds and this is the plane of the ring the p orbital on each carbon atom stands parallel to each other here. There are six parallel p orbitals. Now, if these two overlap, you get a pi orbital here, one pi margo orbital here, one pi margo orbital here. We write it like this, three double bonds. But another possibility is that this may have overlapped with this, this overlap and this overlap. Alternate double bonds are formed in this fashion. So you can ask what is the structure of benzene? This or this? So you must note here that none of the two structures is the correct structure. Actual structure is a hybrid of these two structures because you cannot check the overlap of this P when this is overlapping with this. So, in fact, all these overlap forming 3 pi margo orbitals above and below the ring. And for simplicity, we put a circle to avoid writing these double bonds. This phenomena we will read in detail in our next video when we will talk about resonance or delocalization of pi molecular orbitals.